I've never seen an, a, a multi effects plugin be able to do this much. So somebody in the comments on one of my other videos asked if the Chaos Pad KP3 was compatible with the new Chaos Pad plugin from Korg. And to be honest, I didn't even know that Korg had a Chaos Pad plugin. So I went and checked and sure enough, there is a brand new Chaos Pad plugin along with a whole bunch of other new plugins, including a micro Korg plugin. As of about five days ago, they released these. It is still on sale, but I think tomorrow is the last day. Uh, so if you're watching this in the future, uh, sorry. But anyway, the question was, is it compatible with the Chaos Pad? And the short answer is no, because nothing is compatible MIDI-wise with the, with the uh, KP3 because it is such a huge pain to set up. Now that said, I bet that I could probably eventually figure out how to map the touchpad on the KP3 to this plugin, but that is not this video. So here it is, the Chaos Pad Dynamic Effect Sampler. And the funny thing is, is that they show the KP3 on there next to the plugin and they don't really look a whole lot alike. Um, and there's a reason for that. So here it is. So rebuilt as the new chaos pad, the chaos pad is not a software version of the existing chaos pad series, but a completely new design, including effect algorithms to create a new type of effect plugin. And that is exactly correct. This thing is not a one for one, uh, basically emulation of the KP three and we will get into that in just a second. Let's for now uh, grab the plugin and uh, we will throw it on something. Here's the basic interface and I'm running the demo version of it, uh, which allows me 20 minutes um, on the plugin until it doesn't produce any sound. So I've loaded up a drum loop here and we're just gonna go through the basic interface. So, uh, I'm just dragging uh, my mouse around on here and getting kind of their low pass filter. And you have all these different effect banks. And it, I mean, it sounds good. I mean, the, the uh, effects actually do sound good. You have a hold button here so you can find a parameter, just like on the KP3, you find a parameter, you let it, uh, sit on there um, and it just engages that last position. So you have the MIDI functionality, which basically just shows you if you wanted to use a MIDI controller with this, kind of what the note assignments would be for the positions on the pad. But from what I understand, you know, you're basically just, you can't re really sweep as fluidly as you can like this. Um, but yeah, these are all f the favorites. So you can have 12 favorites stored, um, you know, on the, on the interface itself. Um, and then your INC DEC, which I think stands for increase or decrease, but I don't know why they would use those terms, but this is basically just cycling through all of the effects um, that are, are all the presets. This looper is very similar to what you have in the, in the chaos pad. So you can see, I mean, there's a lot. You can just go on and on. But anyway, where this thing gets really interesting is when you go into the edit page. You can already see here in the edit page, I mean, we're on the ping pong delay and we have graphs, we have knobs, we have, you know, uh, information on everything that you hover over. I mean, there's a lot going on here. So from what I can tell, and let me tell you, this is all that I can tell because if you go here, 
which is nice. I mean, you have uh, the size, you have um, initialize, which, which I think probably just wipes out all the presets. But go to the manual, and this is what you get. I don't think that Korg has actually written the manual on this thing yet because it is crazy. So I think what you have here is for every effect, you have the ability to put five different effects to control at once. So we can go and look at another one of these. Um, here we go, here's a good example. So this is the Chaos Assort, and it has <clears throat> has four, five different effects happening all at once. And if you go into the touchpad, um, I think basically what it's doing is it's affecting every single one of these <laughs> on the on the touchpad as you go through here. So, you know, on delay you have. Oh look, there's not anything happening on the delay here. But on the early refraction, it's changing the time as you go across the uh, Y axis. And then the pitch shifter, it's changing the pitch and the tracking. The looper, it's changing where the loop is. And then the filter is changing this uh, filter sweep. So if you just listen to this, There are all kinds of crazy effects happening there. But even aside from that, you have three different LFOs, four different LFOs that can be used at once. And you can change the sine wave or, or you can change the, the, uh, the wave shape for all of these. I mean, this is crazy. And then I don't even know what these are. I think this is, I don't, I mean, I honestly just don't know. Um, I know that this looks to be a compressor. This section looks to be a compressor because you have an attack release and then gain, and then you can change which part of the chain of effects it's compressing. So you can just do all of the audio in. Um, or you can do uh, just the one effect. So this will change the compression on the filter, I guess. It is crazy how much you can do with this thing. I mean, and then if you go into algorithms that they have, so there's 25 different algorithms. You can do chorus, flanger, these icons crack me up. You can do an IR loader, which I just, I don't even know, I don't even know how you, how you would use that. There's just a ton that can be done with this thing. I mean, it is nice that it's super uh, expansive and, you know, there's a lot that, it, that can be done. But the learning curve on this, I feel like, is just going to be insane. I mean, I don't even know what a virtual patch is. I don't even know where, where you begin to start with a virtual patch. So, um... Let's load up another kind of uh, loop and see if we can come up with something that's a little more uh, melodic so you can hear a little bit more about what this thing does. So if we go into the presets, you can see, um, you can see how many presets that they have here and they're, they're filtered by uh, categories here. So here's all the delays, here's the color filter. Chaos, I think, is kind of adds uh, synth sounds on top of all this. Looper, modulation, oscillator, reverb, vocal. So, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to this thing. Korg makes the mini controllers that they have um, that have the touchpad on it, and I assume that it would probably map up to this pretty well. So it might actually be worth getting one of those just for this. But you know, if you had a dedicated dedicated controller where you could actually use this touchpad physically instead of just moving a mouse around, that would be really nice. Um, a manual would be really nice, um, or just some how-to videos. 
I, I, I can't really stress how uh, complex this thing is. Uh, I've never seen an, a, a multi effects plugin be able to do this much. Is it worth it? You know, the non sale price is 150 bucks. So I will say when I first saw that they were having a chaos pad plugin and they wanted $150 for it, I was like, no way. Cause if it's just an emulation of the KP3 hardware, which if you go to their website, what they show <laughs> is the, is the KP3. So you would be forgiven if you thought that this is what it was, but it, you know, the interface looks a little bit more like the, uh, quad um that you know was pretty much a dud i think if there's more support i think that if they come out with some in-depth how-to videos or at least uh get the manual to work um and you can really start to figure out all the possibilities and like i don't even really i'm not even sure how this mixer thing works i mean you click in here you got you can put text in there like what is that what are you doing you know okay <laughs> like there's so many menus and just bells and whistles and knobs. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they have this, which is basically your just basic functionality. Um, but you know, if you really want to take full advantage of everything that this thing can do, they're going to have to support it. I mean, unless, unless I get some sort of support or some sort of how to videos. I mean, I just can't justify spending, you know, a hundred bucks, $150 to just kind of hack my way through it. Um, but I, it is one of the most robust multi effects plugins I've ever come across. Um, I mean, let me know in the comments if there's something else out there that you feel does, you know, something similar, um, to what the, what this chaos pad plugin is doing. I don't know. It may be worth me doing a longer format video of just like hacking my way through it and just seeing if what I can figure out with it. Um, I certainly don't want to support this product, but you know, if it comes to it, I may have to try and hack my way through it just for, uh, you know, the clicks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please check out all my other videos on the physical KP3 hardware unit, and I'll see you in the next one.